Hi friends, welcome to my new lecture, Curve Fitting. So we will see Curve Fitting. Curve Fitting is the process of fitting a curve on the data which are subject to errors. For example, we have some experimental data. We know what is the form of curve we want to fit on the data. Here, we find the expression that fits the data with least errors. That is, we are given a set of data x, i, y, i, we fit the function y equal to f of x, where y equal to mx plus e for the straight line, or some other, other fitting, we will use the corresponding function. Anyway, we know the form of the function, but we don't know the exact coefficients included in the function. So in the case of straight line fitting, we find the coefficient m and t. Now we will see what is meant by the least squares curve fitting. In least squares curve fitting, we minimize the sum of squares of the error. That is why it is named as least squares curve fitting. That is, squares of the errors is minimized. Sum of squares of the errors is minimized. That is, if we are given a set of data, x, i, y, i, and if we have to fit the curve f of x on this data, then the error for each value will be e i is equal to y i minus f of x i. Then, some more squares of the errors will be like this. This is the error for the first value. This is the square. Error for the second value, the square. The third value, the square. And the last value, the square. And after that, the total sum is calculated. So the sum of the squares of the errors is equal to E1 square plus e2 square plus e3 square plus up to the last value square. So we have to minimize the s. Here we will see a simple least squares fitting method that is straight line fitting. We are going to fit a straight line to the given data x, i, y, i. We know the form of straight line, the function of straight line. It can be written as a 0 plus a 1 x. We choose this form because we can easily extend higher order polynomials by adding the higher terms like a2x squared plus a3x cubed plus a4x raised to 4 plus etc. For a straight line fitting, the sum of the squares of the errors will be y1 minus f of x1 whole square this square plus this square plus square. 
Now, the f of x1 is substituted, f of x2 is substituted, f of x3 is substituted, and f of xn is substituted. After that, we minimize this s value with respect to this a0 and with respect to this a1. That is, we are finding the condition that minimizes the sum of squares of errors, yes, with respect to these coefficients A0 and A1. So, dou S by dou A0 is obtained by differentiating each term with respect to A0. For the first term, this will be minus 2 into y1 minus a0 plus a1 into x1, and like that. Combining all the terms using the summation, we can write in this form. And using the expanded format, this can be written as this one. So removing this minus two and taking this term into the other side of the equation, we can write n a zero plus a one into x one plus x two plus up to x n equal to y one plus y two plus up to y n. Similarly, dou S by dou N, dou A1 is found. Here, the extra term added is this X1, this X1. That is for the first term by differentiating with respect to A1. It is minus 2X1, Y1 minus A0 plus A1 into X1, and like that. So again, combining, we obtain minus 2 in the x1, y1 plus, x2, y2 plus, et cetera, minus a0 into x2 plus up to xn, minus a1 into x1 square, x2 square, x3 square, up to xn square. So after removing this minus 2 and taking this term into the other side of the equation, this can be written as a 0 into x1 plus x2 plus up to xn plus a 1 into x1 square plus x2 square plus up to xn square equal to x1 y1 plus x2 y2 plus of the x n y n. Now we write the two equations in a simple format. N a zero plus a one in the sigma x i equal to sigma y i. A zero sigma x i plus a one sigma x i square equal to sigma x I, Y, I. So from the above two equations, we can find the coefficients by Kramer's rule. So A0 can be written as like this. And the A1 can be calculated like this. Place not one assignment, find the best values of A0 and A1 if the straight line y is equal to A0 plus A1x is fitted to the given data. 1 for point 5, 
to 7.8, 5, 7.8, 8.15, and 10.20. Also write the Python code to solve the above problem and plot the fitted curve. Thank you for watching.